spoke to me very late in the night, very early this morning. Now tell us how it has been in Government House. Well, to the glory of God, it's been a wonderful experience working here. And I give God all the glory for today has come. Only two years down the lane, you can see the level of transformation, infrastructural transformation that has taken place here. One message that is very, very clear here is the fact that it takes only a visionary leader to effect change in whatever situation you find yourself. This structure, like you heard His Excellency the Governor said, was built by Sir Dr. Peter Odele. He left here in 2007. Between 2007 and 2015, there was an occupant of this place. Not even a pin was added. Rather, there was deterioration of the structure. And in less than two years, there has been a total transformation of the place. It tells you of a man who is looking, for the, looking towards the future, who sees very well. Very ordinarily, people will say, what does that mean? It matters a lot, because little things, first and foremost, your physical appearance, the way you conduct yourself, tells about your inner mind. Do you understand? You cannot be building bridges and building skyscrapers. Well, inside where you walk or where you live, is not tidy. It tells about the kind of person you are. Thank you. Um, you run the day-to-day -day affairs of government house, so you are well acquainted with the challenges of running the day-to-day -day activities as regards government house, 
uh, staff and what of you. Can you tell us what you think has been the key challenge for you? The day-to-day -day affairs of running government is not different from any other public office. It's all the same. It's the usual challenges of occupying a public office, whether you're a local government chairman, a commissioner, or a legislator, as long as, as you are the less of seven people, you are bound to face different challenges, ranging from human relations and every other uh, natural challenges. So for me, it's a normal thing. It's a normal. This is not my first experience in public service. I've been a local government chairman for two tenors, a total of six years. So I'm on a familiar terrain. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, indeed, sir. Thank you for talking with us. Well, we are gradually coming to the end of this live broadcast here in Port Harcourt, at the River State Capital, who would uh, endeavor to bring a couple of more voices to relieve this experience and uh, call it a day today um, on this live broadcast. Miracles, miracles today. Jesus, we are thanking you for the miracles you have done in our lives. You are the history changer. You are the history changer. Ah. We are thanking you for the histories you have changed today, Jehovah. Lord God, we are thanking you for the histories that you have made on our behalf. Your name is Yahweh.